Hello guys, hello people, welcome back to MC Putoski Talk Show here on YouTube where we react to all videos that comes our way. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening according to your time zone. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are welcome back to this great platform where we bring you guys the latest happenings around the world, Nigeria in general. If you are on this great platform, please consider to subscribe and Put on the shop bell. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you guys the latest happening today. So, guys, I'm going to leave the video to play so that you guys can watch the video and also drop your comment at the comment section what you think about this video because everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. So, guys, just look at the top here. Don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram so that everybody will come across this video as well. So, guys. Without wasting much time, guys, let's rule. This is a Mecca living stone. This is a short one. You may not see me very well because uh, the weather today is a little bit cloudy, but it's still bright. I tell to this message that go once visit to Ibo land. You know, it's very disheartening to understand that uh, our people seem to be the major problem of this movement. And uh, supposedly, they are those who are educated people in Ibo land. They are also those who are the clergymen in Ibo land. They are also those who are leaders in Ibo land. You know, sometimes when I look into the definition that prince my friend ankelichi gave that the opposite of being an intellectual is being a nigerian i am compared to see with them because uh, the response of those people whom you think are supposed to know better leaves much to be desired i saw moralo the former deputy governor of Central Bank, in a picture he had with Gawan. I am not uh, against his personal desire and wish to do whatever he wants to do, or with whomsoever he wants to associate with. But it is so pathetic and shameful that the man who supervised the genocide against the Biafrans during the war is the same person Mo Alu chooses to identify with. And more alone might say that there's a level is operating which is uh, maybe I cannot understand. He's entitled to his opinion. More alone, more alone is entitled to his opinion, but it is painful. It means that more alone does not even know that souls, lives were lost, women were raped, men were killed, houses were burned, whole generations were wasted. And for all the opportunity Mohalo has had in life. And that is the problem. Because of all these opportunities, they don't seem to understand. They don't throw them. Because they passed through a process that brought them to the heights. And all their lives, it's been easy for them. And maybe, even if he had somebody of his family that was killed during the war, his personal disposition does not show concern about the pains those people passed through before they died somebody will say are you not a pastor Why haven't you forgiven and let bygones be bygones go one has not apologized to the Igbos. so why would you why would you judge me go once coming to Igbo land is an affront to our our sensibilities our intelligence it's, 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 it's a slap on us on our face because Gowan has not come up to speak against the killings of even Christians. Let me not narrow it down to the Igbos. In Biafra land, in Kaduna, in Benue state, even in Plateau state. People are willing to give up and not speak the truth because they still want to be accepted or relevant. And you see them give you the picture of being peaceful prayerful kind while in the very depth of their heart is is blood and evil and and wicked thoughts 
don't have much to say. Whoever went to welcome Gawan, if you are a Nibo man, it's up to you. I'm not saying that we should be unforgiving, but the man who killed our people has not come up to speak that Namdi Kano is being incarcerated after being abducted illegally and renditioned to Nigeria. Gawan has not spoken that the, the, the rule of law has not been obeyed. Contempt of court is with impunity. And the whole of the Igbo race are there with their son, illustrious son. Every prophecy Namdi Kanu gave concerning Biafra has come to pass. He prophesied eight years ago that Tinubu was to be president. Today he is. And go on, even for the sake of being like a, a, a father in the nation, to stand up and speak and say, no, the courts have declared this man discharged, acquitted. Let him go. Even if, let him just talk. And not even see to it that's implemented. Gowan has not said it. And Gowan had the boldness to come to Ibo land. And he had a person like Kishle Mohalo, who, to his own glory, he has taken a picture with Gowan. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that because Gowan is a killer. He's an evil man. I wouldn't do that because Gowan is arrogant and unrepentant. That was why I criticized the first great gospel church. Whenever they were having problems, when I was in Nigeria, they would invite Gowan to be a speaker. When he was running his program, Nigeria Prays. And the man would not come there and be preaching whatever he wants to preach or pray, whatever he wants to pray. He would sing it, single out of the Mego Juku and begin to run him down. Before Igbos, before Igbos, who are brothers to Ikemba? It's a shame. Because all most Igbos think of is connection, money. How would I progress? How would I my link with Gowan Bo, you know? Launder my image, bolster my ego, my personality, so that they will know that I, 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 uh, King Slimo, hello, I have related with Gowan. Go, Gowan is a noise. He's passed. His hands are stained with blood. He has not opened his mouth to speak against the evil that is going on in Nigeria. And yet this same Gowan came to Ibo land to rob us on our faces. Without minding. I can't stop him from coming to Ibo land. It is right. But how would Ibos react? Ibos, you know the same go one? He once said that if he had known what he knew now, he would not have gone to war with the Biafrans. All he needed to do was to call some top Ibo officials, give them large sums of money, fill their pockets with money. Then they will go and contend with their fellow Ibos down there. Because all the Ibo man needs his money to take care of himself. His brother can die. That is why Onyendu is rendition. Nobody cares. When you talk, people begin to begin to abuse you here and there. All those people who are abusing, none of them is talking now that Gowan is doing this thing. None of them can come out and talk. They just stay by the side and begin to abuse people. It's a shame. Because these people understand that Igbos need connection. Igbos need contact. Igbos need elevation. Igbos need contract business. Something that will open doors for them. And therefore the Igbo man is willing to forget his brother that has been killed, deprived his right, his sister that has been raped, dehumanized, and still go and hobnob, discuss, and laugh with that person. Somebody, after killing your father, raping your mother and your sister, he comes and gives you candy to lick. You take it from him and lick. He says, it's very sweet. God bless you. I'm not saying you should not forgive. But that man is not sorry for what he did to you. He's looking at you like a fool. Because you can be bought. Because you don't have principles. Because you don't have morals. Because you don't have scruples. All you care. That is why Onyendu's health is in danger. Bleeding profusely. None of the evil leaders could come up. The fathers who are not politicians. None of them could come up and say, this thing that is happening is wrong. Why not release our son? The Europeans moved quickly to go and negotiate with the government of the other country so that Iboho will not be renditioned to Nigeria. Ibos don't do that. All those useless people that talk, they will not come out now and begin to talk that go on, go, go on's going there. None of them could say anything. It, in fact, it was only Simon Hepa that made comment, you know, he gave a warning that they are not going to tolerate Goa in Ibo land. 
although he's not very good in executing his threats, but at least he threatened. All those, he has, he has bloggers, others, they were there. None of them could come up and say, keep, talk to the Igbos. Don't wait on him alone to talk. Talk to the Igbos. These people are doing is not right. Gawan has once again come to Alan and rubbish us. What have I to say? Oh no, I'm there. Welcome. People like Kingsley Mohalo, a man that God has blessed so much. What else is he looking for in terms of honor or popularity to relate with Gawan? That is not going to help matters. It's bringing him down more. Because it shows that he has no care or concern for whatever the Igbos have passed. The pains they have gone through. It's just about me and go on. God help us. That's all I have to say. God bless you. Thank you for watching that video. We appreciate. And this is where I'll be leaving you guys. But if this is your first time on this great channel, please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel you will be the first person to see the video so guys see you guys some other time